In this video, we will learn how to use Gauss-Jordan elimination method to solve system of linear equation. Previous video, we already see how to solve the linear equation using adjoint method or using inverse matrix. In this video, we will see how we are going to use Gauss-Jordan elimination method to solve the linear equation. And if you still remember from the previous video, I said that if you want to find the inverse of matrix A, we didn't use ERO. Because if we use ERO to find the inverse and then multiply with B, that is a redundant way. Because we can use ERO to actually solve the linear equation directly okay, without finding the inverse. To solve the linear equation using Gauss-Jordan elimination method, the first step is the same, which is we're going to write the matrix equation Ax plus B, and then we're going to form the augmented matrix AB. And then we're going to perform ERO to reduce the augmented matrix to the form of Ix. And actually, it's the same with finding inverse using ERO. So in general, from the matrix equation AX equals to B, we change to augmented matrix. And then we perform ERO until we reduce the augmented matrix to the form of IX. And the matrix at the right hand side here is the solution for the linear equation. So let's take a look at an example here. All right, so for example, okay, solve the following system of linear equation using Gauss-Jordan elimination method. So we have three equation here, x minus 3y plus z equals to negative 12, x plus y plus z equals to 0, 2x minus y plus z equals to negative 8. Write the matrix equation first. A x equals to B. For matrix A, this is 1, negative 3, 1, and then 1, 1, 1, 2, negative 1, 1. This is for matrix A, and x is x, y, z, and equals to matrix B, which is the constant at the right hand side, which is negative 12, 0, negative 8. Alright, so you must write first the matrix equation. Alright, so from the matrix equation, we're going to form the augmented matrix. Okay, augmented matrix A, B. Alright, so that's mean we just copy matrix A at the left hand side. And then we have a vertical separator here. And then at the right hand side, we have matrix B, negative 12, 0, negative 8. So it's the same with doing ERO. The method is the same. Alright, so first we're going to make this element 0. So to do that, that's mean we need a new second row. Alright, so the equation is, alright, so since the targeted element is at the first column, that means our subtrahend will be at the first row. So, we're going to use this element, which is 1, and our targeted element is at the second row, and the element is 1. So, we cross multiply this. First, we have R1, this become R2, and then minus. So, the equation is R2 minus R1. Alright, so you can use calculator to calculate this equation or, or we can do manually. So, for first and third column, we can just copy them back to the augmented matrix because nothing will happen to the first and third column. So, they are only change for second row. Alright, so it's just second row minus first row. First is uh, 1 minus 1 is 0. And then 1 minus negative 3, which is 4. 1 minus 1, 0. 0 minus negative 12 is 12. Alright, so we're done with the first step. Alright, second step is to make this element become 0. So that's mean we need a new third row. Okay, so the equation for the new third row. 
so our subtrahend will be at the first row because the element is at the first column and the element which is at the first row and the first column is 1 and then the targeted element is at the third row and the element is 2 so we cross multiply it's become 2 r1 this is r3 and then minus so the equation is r3 minus 2 r1 so you can use calculator to calculate this all right so that's mean the first and second column we have no change so we just copy them back all right so we can calculate this so the row is 2 negative 1 1 negative 8 and then uh, first row multiply by 2 so 2 negative 6 2 negative 24 and then minus so 0 so this is 0 this is 5 this is negative 1 negative 8 minus negative 24 16 so this is 0 5 negative 1 16 all right so finish with the second step okay third step is to make this element become zero so that's mean we're going to have a new third row all right so since our targeted element is at the second column so we're going to use second row as a subtrahend and the element which is at the second column and second row is four and then our targeted element is at the third row and the element is 5 so cross product this is 5 r2 this is 4 r3 and then minus so the equation is 4 r3 minus 5 r2 all right so that's mean first and second column will have no change so we just copy them back all right so i'm going to use calculator for this So first one zero, also zero, negative four, this is four. All right, so we managed to get, reduce this augmented metric uh, to become zero at this three element. All right, so if we look at the third and second column, this is actually already done because uh, this becomes 0, 4, 0 and this is 0, 0, negative 4. So we can change this to 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. Okay, the way is we can for the second row, what we can do, we can multiply with 1 over 4 and the third row, we can multiply with 1 over negative 4. Alright, so if we do that, so this is 1, negative 3, 1 for the first row, nothing change. And for the second row, it's become 0, 1, 0. Okay, 12 over 4 is 3. And this one becomes 0, 0, 1. And then 4 divided by negative 4 is negative 1. Alright, so that's mean we are already left with these two elements. So this element must become 0. So to that become zero we can that's mean we need a new first row all right so the element is at the second column so we use second row as a subtrahend the element is one and then the targeted element is at the first row negative three so cross multiply negative three r2 and then this is r1 minus minus so r1 plus three r2 so we have r1 plus 3 r2 so if we do that so second and third row is no changes so we just copy them back all right so for the for the first row it's become 1 0 1 negative 3 all right so the last step is to make this element become 0 and that is very simple because we just take okay the new first row is first row minus third row so when we do that it's become 
so second row nothing change third row also nothing change only the first row right so one minus zero is one 0 minus 0, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Negative 3 minus negative 1, negative 2. Alright, so we finish with the Gauss Jordan. So if we look here, this is identity. That means this is the solution that we want to find. So or that is the matrix X. So we know that X is equals to negative 2 3 negative 1 so that's mean x equals to negative 2 y equals to 3 and z equals to negative 1 so that is how we use gauss jordan